Mark, the MAM 7235V, we're revisiting this machine. We've looked at it several times and uh, your customers. Um, why is it so popular? Um, well, I think really, you know, we are the originators of the, the multi pallet five axis um, uh, machines. Uh, the oldest machine is now 30 plus years old in the UK and still running strong 24 7. Um, so, I mean, that 30 years old, one of, the, one of these machines. So you've been in, in this marketplace for decades. Yes, yes, that's right. And, you know, that customer in particular has bought every single generation of the 35Vs from that very first machine right up to the current machine that you see behind us today. OK, what's a, what's a prime example of somebody that purchases one of these, Mark? Well, a lot of people think that it is just purely for volume manufacturing, but the, 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 the beauty of the 35V is that, you know, if, if you wanted to turn your production into, you know, a sort of vending machine sort of setup, then the 35V can handle and can, and can enjoy manufacturing high variety of work pieces as much as it may be producing volume parts 24-7. It's really about utilising every single hour of every single day. And I said, you know, high variety or high volume, the machine doesn't really um, it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't need to understand which is, which is which, it will just quite happily work to your schedule that you apply to the machine. So what, what's, what can be your expectation of how much uptime you can get out of the spindle on these machines then? You know, how much time is that going to be running or could well, it be it, running? It, it will run 24-7, you know, if you, could, if you could exploit every single hour of every single day then this machine will do it reliably. And is there a, a, an argument or is this one of your sales arguments that you can replace several, you know, uh, less sophisticated machines with with one and, and still get more out of it, even though there's only one spindle? Yeah, for sure, yeah. And it's not less it's not necessarily about being less sophisticated. You know, we, we, we quite often replace maybe six standalone five axis machines um, that may be being manned by three people across two shifts you know, each man running two machines, you suddenly put all of that work onto one of these, run it 24-7, and in reality, depending on the work, you can man this for four hours a day to give you 24 hours production. Would you then class the reason for the success of this machine as people changing the way they look at how they're making things, or because they just need more spindles? What's, what's the balance or another spindle? It's, it's normally a bit of everything, to be fair. Um, you know, it's, it's, when, it's when customers get to that point that they start looking at maybe buying more spindles and adding more people to it. Well, actually, what they can do is the opposite. They can just consolidate it onto one machine, run more hours with less people. And what's the economy of it? Is, is it an expensive machine to run? Talk me through maybe the cost of ownership on something like this. Um, well, the cost of ownership, obviously, you know, this machine is a, you know, almost a half million pound uh, piece of kit. but. By virtue of the fact that you're removing the man from the equation, suddenly the return on investment is that much higher. You know, compared to maybe a single table five axis machine, this machine will probably pay for itself in half the time as a single table machine would, almost you know, at the same time being double the price. And the reliability of the product, if you want it to run 24-7, you, you need to have you know, a pretty good history of, of delivering results. How do, how do these <coughs> machines maintain tolerance over such a long period of time? With a machine, you know, it's, it's inherently a very, very stable machine. We fit glass scales as standard on all axes, both the rotary axes and the linear axes. Um, but really it's down to the design, keeping the, the, the table as low down into the casting as possible. It's a true bridge type machine, but it's just designed to be quick, agile, um, with the table surface being below the centre of rotation, we're able to keep our x-axis quite short. Um, and all this just means that the, the machine can move around a part so much smoother and quicker. Um, and last year, you, Matsura did have a, have a good year, even in, under the circumstances. Was a lot of that down to people re-looking at the way they make things and investing in machines like this? For sure, yes. You know, if you take, it's not just this machine, you know, if you take the MX330 PC10, um, you know, that was introduced really to, to, to cover between shifts, whereas the 35E is designed to work for, you know, two, three, maybe four days unmanned, depending on the workload. And, and really, it, it's that ability to explore every hour of every day that people are enjoying through this type of machine. And they go in, they run, they're accurate. Uh, it's, it's not just the, the machine, you know, we talk about the accuracies and everything else, but the machine comes with a swarf system, you know, and a coolant tank of 1,200 litres. Yeah, the whole package is designed to allow you to run unmanned for long periods of time without stopping. 
and I suppose the popularity is the reason that you carry them in stock like this machine is here too. Yeah, for sure. You know, <laughs> Matsuura, you know, typically we have around 30 machines in stock at any one time, whether they be in build, whether on the water or actually here at Colville. But, uh, you know, at the, the current time we have 35Es in stock, the same as MX330s and a lot of, uh, of other machines throughout the range that we have available for quick deliveries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.